So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic looking style box for this SH Figure Arts Infinity War line. So we do get the window right there on the front of the box on the window in gold to say SH Figure Arts Thanos. Then we do get I guess Thanos' symbol which is the Infinity Gauntlet Then on the bottom we do get an image of Thanos as Marvel Avengers Infinity War, Tamashii Nations, and Bandai. And then here is the bottom of the box with the blow with the nobody cares about them. We do get a tiny image of the Thanos figure. Then here is the top of the box. And then the one side of it with another image of tiny Thanos there. And then here is the other side of the box. And then the back of it does show a few poses you can get the figure into along with some of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure over to take a closer look at the guy who kicked the crap out of all the Avengers. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and I think Tamashii Nations killed it with this Thanos. They just did such an awesome job with the figure, and I'm really wowed by, by what an incredible job they did do. The face sculpts look exactly like Thanos, like how he looked in Infinity War. So that is definitely not a problem. The eyes both painted looking in the same direction. We do get the sculpted lines on the chin, some uh, sculpted wrinkles on the forehead, even under the eyes and everything. Kind of tell he he is a bit old, you know what I mean. So they they did a good job with the sculpted wrinkles and everything, and it looks like we do get do get some shading all throughout the face, which is definitely a plus. And there's the back of the head and the neck there. So good job on the head. Then the armor on the torso here, definitely one of my favorite parts about the figure because I love the gold paint with the black there. It does have a, a bit of a metallic-y look to it. Then we do get this like gunmetal type color right there. Which looks pretty cool and then we do get the navy blue that does have a very nice sculpted texture to it along with some sculpted lines which look very nice so really awesome job on the torso on the armor there then uh the pieces that hide the shoulder joints they did add a uh, a nice black piece in there to match this black right here on uh on top of the uh, shoulders right there which look pretty cool then the back we do get that nice sculpted texture once again very clean paintwork all throughout this figure on the golds the blacks and everything so big plus right there and then for the arms at first i didn't think there was shading on them but there is some very subtle shading like up where the uh, bicep meets with the uh, the arm meets with the shoulder right there and i think there's a little bit on the forearm as well i, I wish they would have added a little more shading there's some on the tricep as well even on the uh, forearm and we do get some sculpted veins here and there on the arm which look pretty cool too so uh, definitely good job with the arm my only issue with the arm is the joint is a much more pale purple compared to the rest of the arm. I feel like they should have added some shading on it for it to blend in a little bit better with the rest of the arm. That's my only issue with the arms there, but everything else looks really dope on it. Then my favorite part, which is probably a lot of people's favorite part about this figure, the Infinity Gauntlet. This thing looks so sick. Beautiful sculpt work all throughout it. I would have liked if they added like a subtle wash throughout it. I think it would have gave it a really nice touch. Uh, but even the Infinity Infinity Stones look dope. They kind of cheaped out on the green green one and just painted it instead of giving us a translucent plastic colored stone, which kind of does suck, but what can you do? But I, re I really do love the way the Infinity Gauntlet turned out, so really cool looking piece on that figure. Definitely my favorite part. And then the waist, we, we do get like a little belt piece, very nice paintwork for the gold and the black right there. Then we do get the same type of sculpted texture on the navy blue pieces but it is a very soft rubbery type plastic so definitely won't won't hinder any uh, articulation and i like how it like looks like it's folding over the belt right there i think that looks pretty cool and then the pants also has a nice sculpted texture to it with some sculpted lines so that did turn out very nice as well and we do get some sculpted wrinkles here and there on the pants and we do get some sculpted seams some more sculpted wrinkles on the back knee joints blend in really nice on this figure on the back there so big plus on that and they did sculpt some lines on it as well and then the boots another one of my favorite parts about the figure we do get that very nice gold paint with the black nice clean paintwork on it we do get that gunmetal color as well it's kind of looks like a strap right there and then the rest of the black i believe is just what color the plastic is molded in but there is some nice sculpt work going on on it. There's some sculpted lines, some sculpted wrinkles on the boots and everything, which look pretty cool. And the actual feet, nice sculpt all throughout them, as you can see there. And then the bottom of them, nothing going on at all. But overall, I think Tamashii Nations really did kill it with this Thanos. And for me, I feel like this is one of their best Marvel figures that they have put out to date. But anyway, let's continue on. 
Moving on to the accessories, we get a decent amount of stuff included with this Thanos. So we do get three alternate faces or heads. So we do get the basic looking face here that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already took a look at. And like I said, they did an excellent job with the detail and capturing the likeness of Thanos from Infinity Wars. So we do get that one. Then we do get the smirking smart ass face here. And once again, excellent job with the detail. Looks just like Thanos. Some nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout the face. The sculpted lines on the chin. Eyes both, both painted in the same direction and everything like that. And we do get the shading as well. So very good job on the smirking face. And then we do get my favorite, which is the angry, pissed off teeth. Gritted face. And this one just looks so awesome. They did a great job once again with the detail. Looks just like Thanos when he was pissed off. Throwing part of a moon at Iron Man. And a very nice clean paintwork where the teeth... Uh, meet the purple and everything. We get the sculpted lines on the chin, the shading, and all that. And the way you swap out the heads here, you just pop it onto the ball peg like so, and then pull up to take it off. So very simple to swap the heads there. So we do get those, and then we finally get seven alternate hands. So we do get a pair of fists, of course, which come on the figure out of the packaging in very nice sculpt and paint detail all throughout both hands here. And as you can see, the left hands are the Infinity Gauntlet, while the right hands are the regular... Thanos hands and they did an awesome job with both of them. I like on the regular hands how there is some subtle shading here and there throughout it and we do get some sculpted lines on the top of the hand but just beautiful sculpt work all throughout the regular hands and the Infinity Gauntlet hands once again just beautiful sculpt work all throughout it. The paint looks great and I, uh, I really dig the translucent plastic that they used for each Infinity Stone. They're their own colors. You can see my only issue is the green one here. They said screw it. Let's just paint it dark green so it looks more black than green. And let's not even put a green piece of translucent plastic on it. I don't know why they couldn't have done that. You know, I guess it was easier for them to do that. But other than that, everything else looks great on the Infinity Gauntlet hands. So we do get a pair of fists. And the hands are pretty simple to swap out. You need to use a tad bit of force since the ball peg on the wrist is a little bit bigger compared to regular SH Figure Arts figures. Then we do get a pair of open gripping type hands. And once again, great job with the sculpt and paint detail all throughout each hand here. It was very cool looking. We do get that shading on the uh, regular hands, as you can see there. So we do get a pair of those. Then we do get a pair of open, resting type hands here. And once again, great job with the sculpt and paint detail. Get the shading on the regular hand. Just beautiful sculpt work on the gauntlet, man. That thing just looks sick. Really great job on that. And then finally, we just get a regular right snapping fingers hand. And... I know a lot of people aren't going to be too happy because he did snap his fingers with the Infinity Gauntlet hand. So it's kind of weird that they gave us the regular hand for the snapping fingers. You know, it's like, what the hell? But I feel like they did it because it was easier and cheaper for them to make it a regular hand instead of an Infinity Gauntlet hand. So that's why I feel like they gave us a regular hand instead of the hand it should have been. But a very nice sculpt and nice shading, subtle shading all throughout it. And... Plastic Addict on Instagram and YouTube also mentioned to me you could use this hand to place the stones in the gauntlet hand, which I didn't even think of, so really great idea by him. But anyway, that is all the cool accessories included with Thanos. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now for the height of this mad titan to the very top of his head. It looks like he's around 7.5 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America, the Mark 50 Iron Man, the Iron Spider Spider-Man, and the Infinity War Doctor Strange. And I think he scales really well with the other SH Figure Arts MCU figures. And then here he is compared to the guy who ruined it for half the MCU, the SH Figure Arts Star-Lord with Baby Groot on his shoulders, the Marvel Legends Groot with the SH Figure Arts Rocket on his shoulders, the SH Figure Arts Thor Ragnarok Thor, and Gladiator Hulk. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Civil War Black Panther, the Homecoming Spider-Man, the Figma Deadpool, and the Marvel Legends Cable. And then here he is compared to someone who really could have helped out the Avengers and whooped Thanos' ass, the Mafex Justice League Superman, the Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, and the NECA Scar Predator. And then here he is compared to someone who would have helped Thanos gather all the Infinity Stones, the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku, and the Mesco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review.
So now have all the articulation and we do get some really good movement with this Thanos. Some points aren't that great, but most of his articulation is pretty damn good. So we do have two points at the neck there. The collar does hinder some of the articulation, but the upper neck, you can get Thanos to look up a really good amount. So very nice up movement there. Then going down, uh, it just pretty much looks straight ahead. We do get a very nice pivot out of the upper neck. And then, of course, it does swivel. But like I said, it's going to get hindered by the collar unless you lift the head up and swivel it. Then you can get it up. But he's just always going to be looking up if you try to get his chin up over the collar, as you just saw right there. And then the lower neck does go forward a pretty good amount. It goes back a little bit, too. But you do see a little bit of a gap there. So you might want to try to avoid that. But with both joints, you can get him to look down decently in both joints. Uh, it does look up very well. And then we do get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck, and then it does swivel as well. So pretty damn good articulation at both the neck joints. Just does get hindered a tiny bit by the collar right there. And then we do get a point of articulation at the torso around the abdomen there. And this is where the articulation really isn't the best. As you can see, he really does not crunch forward at all. But he does go back a tiny bit, so that is a bit disappointing. Uh, we do get very nice pivot, though. Wow, I didn't think he had that good pivot. Very nice pivot at the torso, and then it does swivel a little bit. It does get hindered because of the way the body is sculpted there. And then the waist here uh, really does not go forward and back too much, so you're not going to get the best forward and back movement uh, between the torso and the waist, which kind of does suck, but uh, let's see if we get a little bit of pivot at the waist, and I can barely get mine to pivot, but you do get very tight swivel there. Uh, now, for the shoulders here, we do have a butterfly joint, as you can see there, so that is a plus. And then they does go up and down as well. So two types of butterfly joint, a vertical and horizontal. Uh, then we do get a nice circular motion out of the shoulder there, as you can see. And then the arms do go out to the sides. Wow, a lot more than 90 degrees. Didn't realize they went up that far. Then they do go up and down. We don't have true bicep swivel. It is built into the shoulder right there, so it does swivel up there. Then we do have double jointed elbows that bend in a little more than 90 degrees. And the joint really doesn't swivel where it connects into the bicep, so that does kind of suck. Now for the wrists here, we do have a basic ball hinge on the right wrist, so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. Then we do on the infinity gauntlet, so it does swivel and hinges back and forth but it also extends a little bit and I believe it's on a tiny uh, ball peg so you can swivel it around but get much better movement out of that ball hinge right there since you can shift the joint out which I, I didn't even know it could do that until I looked at the directions so sometimes the directions help with these SH figure arts figures then the legs here we do get the shifting to my nation leg joints but be careful when you articulate the legs, do not let the thigh rub up on the crotch piece because it will damage the leg. As it does mention in the directions, I did get a little bit of damage on mine, so you might want to be a little careful when you articulate the legs on your Thanos. But they do shift down just a tiny bit, and Thanos can kick forward pretty much 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. Uh, only goes to the back a tiny bit, and let's see if Thanos can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And I don't... Actually, it looks like he... Almost can. Uh, a bit shy of 90 degrees, but very nice leg movement on this Thanos. Wow, that is super loose. What the hell is that? Oh my god, when I pulled the joint down, that got so loose. You saw that? Oh, it's not now. What the hell was that all about? Wow, that was weird. Uh, we do get a nice upper thigh swivel. We do have a single jointed knee that bends back 90 degrees on the joint. Really doesn't swivel too much where it connects into the thigh and lower leg. Then the ankles, uh, we do get a bit of hindered articulation here, as you can see. You can't fully get the ankles to spin in a full 360, which really isn't that big of a deal. They do swivel enough, but they do hinge up a really good amount. But hinging down, it, it, they really don't hinge down too much. It gets hindered, I guess, by the back piece of the boot, which kind of sucks. But you do get some very nice ankle pivot with this Thanos, and then you do get a very nice toe hinge as well. So overall, even though he's a bigger figure, you're still going to be able to get him in some really nice poses, and I think they worked in the articulation very well on this Thanos. The torso moving forward and back isn't that good, and you can't really get the feet or the ankles to hinge down, but other than that, you're going to be able to pretty much get him into any type of 
Mad Titan like poses, and I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figyards Infinity War Thanos. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between 1 through 10, I'd have to give it an even 9. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you can head over to their website at agelessgeeks.com, or I would recommend going through their Instagram or their Facebook group, and I believe he just has the Japan release available as of right now. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get a basic look, <laughs> what the hell? So we do get the window right there in the front of the box, and on the window in gold does say the <laughs> first take, and already messing up. It does say Marvel Avengers Infinity War, then we do get a cool image of Thanos, and then a little bit. The SH Figure Arts Infinity War Captain America. The Mark 50 Iron Man, the Iron Spider Spidery Man. Good thing none of them fell. SH Figure Arts rocket on his shoulders. The SH Figure Arts... Damn it. Brain fart right there. Damn. Someone who... Seven alternate hands. And we do... Which come only figure out of the packaging and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, what the hell. Damn you! And the left hands, as you can see, are the Infinity Gauntlets. And then... Infinity Gauntlets. Come on, man, what the hell, you bastard? But other than that, everything else looks really cool on it. You son of a bee!